Yeah, so you're just really open to all wines. I like the wine and not the label. Does that make sense? Welcome to Ms. Mojo Glow. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times David Rose was the best character on Schitt's Creek. Number 10, David and Moira Rose's Christmas routine. Any traditions good enough for Christmas are good enough for the Asbestos Fest. When Moira's decision to stage a one-woman show for Schitt's Creek's residence proves to be a touch too ambitious for the veteran actress to pull off in a single day, David jumps in to save his mother. What if we did the number? David and Moira put on a show for the ages, one defined by Christmas sweaters, funky hairdos, and dad jokes. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me the keys to a Lamborghini. <laughs> While David has chemistry with everyone, his scenes with Moira tend to be especially hilarious, and in this instance, also quite touching. Number 9. David Throws Jocelyn Shit's Sprinkle From the second a frustrated Jocelyn walks into Rose Apothecary and masterfully manipulates David into taking charge of her baby shower, the laughs do not stop coming. In the lead-up to the event, David learns about the existence of a sprinkle, figures out that booze and fish are probably not great for pregnant women, and has a close encounter with a creepy pinata. While he spends most of this episode in varying states of exasperation, David does manage to pull off a pretty great shower, even if it basically involves turning Jocelyn into a state fair game. Number 8. David Helps His Mom Destroy the Pictures what screams love more than destroying a memory card filled with less than flattering photos? When David's ex, Sebastian Rain, approaches Moira for a photo shoot, it soon becomes apparent that perhaps the handsome artist's intentions are not as they seem. Moira comes to regret the session, prompting David to take matters into his own hands and confront Sebastian. Give me the memory card, Sebastian. Moira, I'm scared for us. Oh, you mean this memory card? Culminating in a sweet victory for the Roses as a unit and David as an individual. This is a delightful moment that illustrates how much both characters on the show had grown in the span of three seasons. Number 7. David and Patrick Brewer's First Kiss Even if the pair's first meeting does not go perfectly, sparks fly from the second David and Patrick share a scene. You're either very impatient or extremely sure of yourself. Three bit of a change up there, huh? Yeah, again, I don't know what that means. I don't play cricket. Over the course of roughly half a season, these two go from being strangers to owning a business together, setting the foundations for one of the best relationships on the show. After a successful soft launch and a sweet birthday dinner, the stars finally align as David and Patrick share their first kiss. This moment is not only one of the most satisfying in the series, but it changes the entire trajectory of David's life. Number 6. David Decides to Stay in Schitt's Creek As the Rose's financial fortunes finally turn, David, and by extension Patrick, have a tough decision to make – relocate to New York or put down roots in Schitt's Creek. Pre-Patrick, David would not have hesitated to go to New York and prove everyone who doubted him wrong but a lot can change in six seasons. Through a string of powerful but still funny scenes, David makes his decision, climaxing in a touching moment that serves as a great precursor to the couple's wedding. Schitt's Creek might not be the stage for the rest of their lives, but it's exactly what David and Patrick need right now. What about New York? I thought that's where you wanted to be. I thought so too, but it's not where you want to be. And I don't want to be anywhere you don't want to be. Number 5. David Talks Trust with Alexis With every passing episode, the roses grow more open with each other, and that is perhaps the most evident when it comes to David and Alexis. The siblings share plenty of memorable exchanges and hugs throughout the series, but things get surprisingly emotional when Alexis questions why David does not trust her. David's speech hits right in the feels and shows that while the roses always protected each other, Schitt's Creek allows them to admit it. Well, you didn't have to worry about me. Well, I did. It's kind of hard to believe that these are the same people who once argued about who should die first in case of a break-in. Number 4. David Likes the Wine, Not the Label Schitt's Creek applies a deft touch when it comes to themes revolving around sexuality, and perhaps the greatest example of the show's sensitivity and inclusivity is David's wine metaphor. After a one-night stand with Stevie, David reveals that he likes all sorts of wines, and that he is only interested in the contents rather than the labels. Pansexual characters are rarely presented on TV, making Schitt's Creek quite unique. However, David is hardly defined by his sexuality. Like David with wine, this is a character who cannot be reduced to a label. Yeah, so you're just really open to all wines. I like the wine and not the label. Does that make sense? Number 3. David Tells Ted Mullins That He's Got It 
While David and Ted don't have too many scenes together, they make the most of each one. During a time when both characters are trying to find the resolve to reciprocate a declaration of love, David tells Ted what he knows and helps the veterinarian find the courage to pursue a new relationship with Alexis. So, I am just going to tell you what I know. Although this speech helps Ted, David is also talking to himself, and he takes his own advice. In many ways, the fact that these two characters are not especially close makes this scene even better, as David's openness shows his character growth. Number 2. David supports Patrick as he comes out to his parents Schitt's Creek serves as a masterclass on how to inject comedy into dramatic situations without undermining the character's emotional experiences. So all this time, your, your parents thought they were just talking to your your business partner. For Patrick's birthday, David sets up a surprise party and invites his boyfriend's parents. This decision initially backfires when Johnny accidentally outs Patrick, leading to David's day getting messy and potentially quite dark. What you're dealing with is very personal, and it's something you should only do on your terms. The character is at his supportive best throughout this episode, as David gives Patrick the room to handle the situation at his own pace. What if they don't react the way I think they will? Then I will be here, and we'll get through it together. Number 1. David performs the best for Patrick Whenever Tina Turner is involved, Schitt's Creek becomes untouchable. What is this? Consider this my olive branch. As an apology for being a touch greedy, David decides to stage a one-man show for Patrick, and it is nothing short of awesome. A, call, need you, my heart's on fire. a call back to that time Patrick serenaded David during an open mic night at Rose Apothecary, this performance is endearing, sweet, and naturally quite funny. David has been burned so often that vulnerability does not come easy, so this unwavering demonstration of passion is a huge deal for the character. 